Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol WMIH. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but it will anyways. Basically the past week of this one has been extremely nice. If you say, Clay, look, I'm looking for a, a, an example of an uptrend for a textbook. I'd say, hey, check this one out because this is definitely the epitome of what an uptrend is. Higher highs, higher lows, and a lot of eyeballs on this one. So let's get this updated from a support and resistance viewpoint. So first let's start off with what I would call the ideal level of support. I mean, if you say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price can stay up above 95 cents. Now don't get me wrong, if the price falls below 95, by no means am I saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But if the price can somehow manage to stay up above that point, that would definitely be a huge sign of power, no doubt about it. Next level of support after that would be this previous breakout uh, point area and that sits down here at about the 88 cent mark. So 95 cents, 88, two of the near term levels of support. But for those of you that care about more so the big picture of things and just want a very straightforward way to measure the health of the current price movement, just keep an eye on that purple line right there, which is the very famous 50 period simple moving average, keyword being moving. So as time goes by and as that line or as the name implies, that purple line is going to move itself higher and higher. So again, like I said, from a big picture perspective, a very straightforward way to gauge the health of the current price movement. As long as the price stays above that purple line, as the line itself moves itself higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, you know, there's no doubt about it, that's the easiest way to look at that. Just stay up above that trend, trend indicator, and as long as the price is staying above it, the trend is fully in the bull's favor. What about areas of resistance? Where are some next potential battlegrounds at? Honestly, I'm not even gonna talk about those because really the main focus should be just repeating past history. What do I mean by repeating past history? Well, it's all about at this point doing this. You can see that over time, the price has been just focusing on building higher bases and you know the results have been pretty clear. You got yourself a nice uptrend. So focus on building higher bases and let the rest of the chart take care of itself, but no doubt about it, very nice week. Nice day-to-day -day closing out the week, so we'll see what next week brings. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point, and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.